Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September 29th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because October 1st is Friday, which is crazy. I can't believe it's already October. But anyways, yeah. So look, I'm wearing my urine shirt. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to wear it because <laughs> my stomach's getting bigger. But I'm going to wear it until it won't fit anymore. And then I'll put it in the closet and I can wear it next year. <laughs> anyway, so I'm working on a new project this week. I started this right before I started getting sick this weekend. I think I either started it last Thursday or Friday maybe. It was before, well my arm had already started hurting. So, I don't know. I started it last week. <laughs> but this is a baby blanket that I'm making for my baby whose name is June, but she's due in February. So right now, today I'm 21 weeks. Um, so I'm over halfway there. <laughs> but, um, what was I saying? I'm losing, see, I got pregnant, so I'm losing my train of thought. Anyways, this yarn was gifted to me in a yarn swap. I swapped it, I swapped it, swapped. <laughs> I traded some of my yarn that I could never use because I was allergic to it, to uh, Doris. Oh my gosh, the high school is being really loud. <laughs> I hope I don't have to edit that out. They're playing music. They're having a whole coming week. Anyways, um, she traded me some acrylic yarns that I could use. And I traded her the like alpaca and wool yarns that I can't use due to allergies. So a lot of it's stuffed in here and in there. But she, one thing she traded me was a three pack of this um, Hershner's Worst to Date Baby Yarn. And it came with three different colors. It came with this multi one called Fairy Princess. And then it came with a pink and a purple called Ballerina. And where is it? pansies so they do all you know they go perfect together that's the whole point <laughs> she also got me some blue ones which i'm going to try to make something for jesse out of i think it's a blue and green it's back there somewhere anyways all that to say <laughs> i started a baby blanket and it's the call the midwife blanket very popular pattern it came um uh, gosh the first time i seen it was 2015 because i made one for jesse when i was pregnant with him i made his just like an ivory white because it was before i knew that he was boy um, so I was already in baby making mode and I made blankets and stuff and I made them all gender neutral because, uh, I didn't know what he was yet, but this one, I know what she is. So I started this, like I said, last week. So I'm going to, I need some slack. <laughs> I'm going to do it in stripes. So I did the first stripe in the pink and then I started the second one in the purple and that's, I did some of this while I wasn't feeling good when I had like moments of where I was feeling better. <laughs> But um, I mostly didn't get to crochet much this weekend because of my blood pressure was going up and down and my arm was killing me and Devin thought I was going to have a heart attack. So we ended up at the hospital twice and then it just it was just a, a hassle. <laughs> anyway, so I spent most of Friday, all of Saturday and Sunday in bed watching uh, TV in there <laughs> and snoozing. But anyways, so here it is. It's so cute. I don't know how big I'm going to make it. I'll probably just judge by how much yarn I have when it gets uh, longer. <laughs> Uh, but I, I did print the pattern out. I dug and dug through my patterns because I could have sworn I already had this printed out, but I couldn't find it. So I guess when I made it for Jesse, I just made it probably for my tablet that I had at the time. Because I used to have a Samsung you know, like Galaxy tablet, whatever they're called, <laughs> with a ton of patterns on it. And Jesse actually broke it after he was born when he was like a year old. He dropped it a bunch of times, you know, the way babies do. So I did print it out because I print out patterns I know I'm going to use again because this is a really nice baby blanket and it's super easy. It's by Yarn and Chai, and it's a free pattern. And the reason it's called the Midwife Blanket is because on one of the earlier episodes of Call the Midwife, which is a BBC show, but it's also on Netflix. You can watch it on Netflix. Um, there's a baby. It's a really good episode because it's a girl who is, like, underage, and she gets pregnant. And she hides her pregnancy, and then she ends up having the baby. And, you know, all this, they're not going to keep the baby, but then they end up keeping it anyways. <laughs> anyways, I've, I've watched that show many times. Um... Towards the end of it when she's going to get her baby back because she uh, dropped it off, you know, to get rid of it. But anyways, when she's getting it back, <laughs> it's wrapped in this really pretty, like, ivory color, uh, off-white color blanket. And it's that blanket. And on this website, on her website, she has pictures from the show that shows it. And it's a beautiful blanket. So, uh, anyways, that's the story of that blanket if you wanted to know. <laughs> but I'm making this with just this baby yarn. It says that it's a number four worsted, but I feel like it's a little bit thinner than a number four. It's like a lot number four. And I'm using a G hook. Is that what the pattern calls for? Yeah, it does call for that. And so far I'm liking it. The way it's coming out. 
Now she's gonna be born in February, which is really cold here. January and February is usually our coldest months where I live. It's where we get most of our snow. We It almost always snows on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Anyways, um, but because it's gonna be so cold, we're not gonna be going places with her because of it's a regular cold season plus COVID. <laughs> so um, I think a lot like would be fine because it'll be in the house. And um, I could put this over her in the car seat, you know, the car will already be warmed when we put her in there for appointments and things and then um, put it over her in the car seat. But I don't think she needs a big thick blanket, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I did make that other blanket for her. The uh, little cherub set blanket, which I love also. That's one of my favorite ones too. I made that for Jessie also and I made one to gift to someone. And it's just a really nice pattern. But yeah, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna do pink, purple, and then the multicolor. And then I'm gonna do pink, purple, multicolor all the way up until I start to run out of yarn. And um, I'll probably do the border in the multicolor if I have some left. If I end up using up all the yarn for the body, I can just use white because this multi has white in it. I could use white to make the border. So that's my plan. I'm working on it slowly. I love this pattern because it looks complicated. You know, it looks uh, detailed, but it's actually really quite easy. And it's just a uh, this mini roll repeat and then just repeat it until it's the size you want. And you could just make it all solid color because the first one I made was or you could uh, strap it or do whatever you want with it, you know. It's really cute. I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath all the time now because of pregnancy related stuff and I have to slow down every now and then and catch my breath. Yeah. This is living in my cute pumpkin and cat bag that I bought quite a while ago. At least two years ago, maybe even longer than that. And I bought it from Susie Pops Creations, I think is the name of it. I'll link that below if I can. I know I got it favorited on Etsy, but she makes some really cute bags. And I bought this one. I had to buy it when I seen it because I love Halloween. And uh, I've had it for a few years, two or three years. And I use it all the time. It's got pockets on the inside. She's got it. It's got uh, like interfacing in it to make it kind of stiff. It's orange on the inside. You can see the pockets, my scissors down in there. <laughs> little ribbons to tie it with. I have like a million pairs of these little kid scissors. These are perfect for my yarn projects because they don't, they're not sharp so they don't like poke things but they're sharp enough to cut yarn anyways <laughs> i'm side checking but this bag is a little small for my yarn balls because these yarn balls are pretty big they take up all the room <laughs> but as the yarn balls get smaller the blanket will get larger so i think it'll it'll even out let me stuff them back in here put my blanket on top that's how it fits in there <laughs> but yeah this is just my carry around the house project and I take it when I go to pick up Jesse because I always end up at school like usually 30 minutes earlier just because if I don't I will end up way in the back of the line <laughs> so um, I guess sit there and work on this in the car do a couple rows and uh, listen to music and stuff and then pick him up tie my little bow in my bag see so cute definitely check out her shop I'll link it below nice little handles but <laughs> anyways that's what we're gonna do say this is a really long watch work on Wednesday. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I need to catch my breath. And I'm watching an episode of Chicago Med. And I want to see how it ends. <laughs> but let me know down below what you guys are working on. And feel free to share any links or anything like that. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, tomorrow I got one coming out for Moving Stitch. I don't remember where my square is. It's over there somewhere. <laughs> for O. And I need to figure out what I'm going to watch for P. I'm still behind, but I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> And uh, I, got, I already got some finished objects to share with you guys coming up on another <sighs> No Catch Your Name episode. <laughs> but um, that'll be maybe this weekend. Yeah. And also, tomorrow is the 30th. Friday is the 1st. I'm going to do Vlogtober again this year. Um, maybe not every day. <laughs> but I do have some fun stuff planned. And actually, Friday is National homemade cookie day so when Jesse gets home from school we're gonna make cookies I told her that we would make homemade cookies so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make our, my um, chocolate chip recipe that's really good and I'm just gonna put Halloween sprinkles in with the chocolate chips so that it, they're Halloweeny. <laughs> that's my plan but yeah I got some cute stuff planned for October and I've got a uh, 13 days of Halloween swap I don't know how many days away I don't know what day I should start that on I'll have to go to Halloween and count backwards because <laughs> um I guess Halloween would be the 13th day, right? So then I need to go 12 days behind that to start. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um, and I still got to mail my partner's package because I got six this weekend. I was going to do it last Saturday. 
and then all that stuff started so I gotta mail that out with my packages my orders which I'm getting packed up right now <laughs> so yeah that's everything big blab but that's okay I also went to the thrift store today so I thought about doing a, a thrifty Thursday video tomorrow because I'll um my channel is more than just crochet. I'm more than just crochet. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of pieces to me, just like everybody does. I'm a mom, a wife, a woman. <laughs> I love to thrift. I love to decorate my house for the holidays. I love to take amateur photos because I'm a super amateur photographer. I like taking, like, nature photos. Um, not people photos. So I don't think I could ever do that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I like sewing and, and crochet but my whole life is not crochet and no kitchen name has always been crochet and life so i want to start incorporating more of the life part too like i used to do because when i first started my channel i did incorporate a lot of life videos too and i miss doing that because i like vlogging and especially with uh jesse growing up because i like to go back and watch my old vlogs of him when he was a baby because when i first started this channel he was like a year old and uh it's fun to go back and watch my old videos so i want to be able to do that and when June is born, I want to share a lot of her with you guys. And uh, just other life stuff. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and get this video edited. It's going to take me a minute because it's really long. But, and then I'm going to go watch the rest of this episode. <laughs> and I will catch up with you guys later. Bye, guys.